In this video, we bring you three ducks for West Coast Swing. What's up, gang? It's Brian B. And Miss Megan. And today we're going to talk about three different ducks you can use using patterns you already know, inside turn and a whip. But first, we're going to talk about the follower's responsibility because I know that that's uh, a little scary for the ducks. Megan's really good at them, so she's going to cover that first and then we'll show you the patterns. Followers, here are your two keys. So, number one, you have to be able to do this inside turn pretty well before you want to attempt to duck. So, our footwork for this, we're going to go forward, forward, and then I explain this as like three half turns, but you want your feet to be very close together. So, you're going to turn, 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 making sure that you can land very solidly and then anchor step. So let's talk about that from this side. So we have one, two, we're gonna turn for three and four. On count four, notice that my right side is still back and my left side is still forward. This is what makes us land very solidly. And then we have our anchor step. Now, for our second key, make sure that when you duck, you don't duck more than you need to or before you need to. So if we did this inside turn, we have one, two, three, and. You really don't have to duck until count, well, between three and four. So you're gonna duck and land on four, and then five and six. So if we do that again, one, two, three, and. The leader's hand will be right here. That's when you start to duck between three and four, then we have five and six. Now, I hope everyone paid attention to what Megan talked about because that's gonna make my job much easier. So, the first move we're gonna use is simply that inside turn, right? We lead that basic inside turn, but now we're gonna lead a duck. Here's what it looks like. We have a one, two, three, and four, five and six. So what's going on in this? Well, first things first, I have to be confident that my follower can dance that inside turn. So if I led that right off that hand, one, two, I'm confident that she's going to take that turn all by herself. Now while that's going on, one, two, we're going to do this slow motion for three and I'm sliding down to her shoulder. I'll show this to you from the other side as we go over her head for count four, five and six. And there's a couple of keys that we need to pay attention to leaders. Once she's prepped for the turn, she's off to the races. I'm gonna keep my body out of this as much as I can. Three, and I'm gonna go down to either her armpit or even cooler and easier is her elbow. The reason why I like the elbow is if I take that elbow up, there's lots of room in there for the duck. So the harder one is down at the armpit. Megan's quite good at that. The cooler looking one and the easier is up to the elbow. So leaders, I'm gonna go anywhere from here to there on my follower as I dance my one, two, three, and. Now at this point, leaders, I can't cut her off. What I mean by cut her off is I need to follow this path out and around her as I lead the turn. My elbow also has to be to the sky. So you can see if my elbow's to the sky, there's more space there. If I leave my elbow flat, I'm more likely to hit her in the back of the head. Let's show it to you from this angle. And we have two more of these to show you. So hang on tight. We have one, two, three, and you can see my hand is gonna travel the path out and around her. She only has to duck for a split second and we slide down for our anchor step. So that's number one. Number two is we're gonna do the inside turn from this hand. This is what this one looks like. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So what are the things I need to think about here? The follower, once she knows this, can actually assist a little bit and basically put that hand to her own armpit. That's where I'm trying to get to. One, two, I'm keeping myself out of the way for a second. Three, and I'm gonna go to the armpit and the same rule is the same. Before I use this hand, I'm gonna pull Megan's arm out so you can see, I'm looking to connect to something in here. The same thing happens with my right hand as I go over her head. Same thing, elbow up and creating that circle. So if we look at it from both sides, we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. Again, same thing on this side. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now, another thing Megan does really well here as a general rule is there's always general frame in her arm. So even as she's turning through, this arm isn't hanging out doing nothing. It's at least in this ready position. So 
if it's somewhere in this ready position, number one, I could pick it up if I needed it. Number two, it allows her to not get trapped in here. If she keeps this arm down, she's going to get trapped in there. The duck isn't going to work. I'm not going to be able to feed that hand underneath. So as a good general rule, followers keep that arm up a little bit. I take the hand over and slide down. So the third one, we're going to use a basic whip. So we're going to use a basic whip. We'll do it from this side. There's a little syncopation we're going to cover in the end. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. That's what it looks like. How do we get there? So everything's the same till four. One, two, three, and four. Now, on this point, I have to dance five and six. So I'm going to prep her on the five, right? I'm going to start to cut this hand across a little early, not so much to pull her, but just a little early. I take this hand out as she starts to close, and I do the same thing, connect to that point, and she only has a short time to duck. So let's look at it fast once and then slow once from both sides. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Cool. From the other side, we have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, right? We're going to be on the wrong foot as the leader's no big deal. Seven, eight, we just change weight and off to the races. All right, gang, here's the video. I want you to go watch that. And after you do, come back to this video and leave a link in, or leave a comment in the description below and let us know what other moves you want us to break down because there's so much brilliant in that video that we can break down in ways that you can do. Not all of it, but a lot of it.